Hi there. It's November 30th and time for Proverbs 30 in the New American Standard. I'll also be doing um, Proverbs 31 later on today and putting that up as well since there is no November 31st. So, so we can keep our days with our Proverbs lined up. Okay, now Proverbs 30 was written by um, the words of Agar, the son of Jacob. <clears throat> And these were, and this particular letter was added by um, King Hezekiah's men, you know, added to Proverbs. And he was probably, I mean, Agar may have been a teacher, you know, speaking to a couple of his scholars and stuff, but it's interesting. Well, let's jump over there. The words of Agar, son of Jacob, the oracle. The man declares to Ithiel and to Ithiel a new cow, which, like I said, were, were, may have been scholars. They're never mentioned anywhere else in the Bible, as is Agar, it's not either. So, okay. Verse 2 Surely I am more stupid than any man, and I do not have the understanding of a man. Neither have I learned wisdom, nor do I have the knowledge of the Holy One, who ascended into heaven and descended. Who has gathered the winds in his fist? Who has wrapped the waters in his garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name or his son's name? You like that? Mentions son of God in here, which I found that very interesting. And I did a lot of research on this and didn't find a lot other than they knew about the son of God, but didn't know who he was at the time. Surely you know. <clears throat> Every word of God is tested. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words, or he will reprove you, and you will be proved a liar. A lot of people do that. Let's highlight that. Now, different translations aren't adding to the words, okay? They take... They spoke a certain way back in the 1500s when... They took the manuscripts and translated them into that language. They speak differently in this century and the last century when they take the original manuscripts and translate them into our language. Okay, There's a lot of talk about this version is better than that version, and this is the only true version, and that's the only true version. If you do a little research, you know, into when the Bibles are made, where the Bibles were made, you'll find out that most of them were were translated from the original scripts, and some of them used other Bibles. Even the King James used another Bible, okay? It wasn't an original translation. Okay? It was translated from a Bible that was written in 1536. So, but what I have found on this is Whenever God speaks to you, he speaks in your language, okay? He doesn't, you know, God doesn't speak to you and say, thee, thy, and therefore. You know, that's not how you talk. When he communicates with you, he talks to you as he's talking to a child. He talks your language, your accent. Even when the apostles were given the gift of tongues, they were speaking the words of God Whoever they were talking to, they were speaking in their language. They were speaking in their dialect. They even were speaking in the words from their village and using the accents. And this astounded people. And that's how God talks to you, in your language. So find a Bible that speaks your language, okay? And pray over it. And that the words of God will get in there where they belong, okay? Verse says, do not add to his words, or he will repute you, and you will be proved a liar. Hmm? A lot of people do that. The Bible says this and this and this, and that. No, it doesn't. You know, most false doctrines add verses. But they add verses, okay? The Mormons added a verse to the beginning of the Bible that says, And it says in the Bible, thus saith the Lord, As you are, I once was, as I am, you may become. Okay? That's the whole basis for the Mormon faith. And, never says that anywhere. Those words were added. So, okay, let's continue. I, 
I've delved into verse 6 more than I wanted to. Verse 7. Two things I ask of you, do not refuse them me before I die. Keep deception and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is my portion. I always like this one. This verse here goes together and it was always a good one. Keep deception and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is my portion that I may not be full and deny you and say, who is the Lord? Or that I may not be in want and steal and profane the name of my God, right? Do you pray for that? Pray for just enough what's yours. A lot of people, there's a lot of false doctrines out there, you know, the doctrine of money. God wants you to be rich. It never says that, okay? God wants you to be wise. God wants you to fear him and revere him. And he will give you all things that you need. That's a good one. Yeah. If you make you too rich, you'll say, eh, don't need God. I got money. And if you're dirt poor, you're tempted to steal. So, yeah, right right in the middle. Just enough. Those are great verses right there. Verse 10. Do not slander a slave to his master, or he will curse you, and you will be found guilty. This is the kind of man who curses his father and does not bless his mother. There is a kind who is pure in his own eyes, yet is not washed from his filthiness. <laughs> right. There is a kind who are <clears throat> there is a kind who oh how lofty are his eyes, and his eyelids are raised in arrogance. Mm -hmm. People that do that. There is a kind of man whose teeth are like swords, and his jaw are like knives. They devour the afflicted from the earth, and the needy from among men. <laughs> the leech has two daughters. Give, give. Right. <laughs> there are three things that will not be satisfied, four that will not say enough. Shoal, that's hell, is never satisfied. The barren womb. Earth that is never satisfied with water, and fire that never says enough. Okay, four things. Show the barren womb. Earth that is never satisfied with water. The desert. And fire that never says enough. Hmm? So, so four things that aren't never satisfied. Okay. The eye that fox mocks the father and scorns the mother, the ravens of the valley will pick it out, and the young eagles will eat it. Wow. You got that, kids? There are three things which are too wonderful for me, four which I do not understand. I found in other versions these always three things. No, wait, four. These are wonderful things, and the other things, things that can't be satisfied. So, the wonderful things, the way of the eagle in the sky, the way of a serpent on a rock. Yeah, how does he move? The way of a ship in the middle of the sea, in the way of a man with a maid. Yeah. You guys are all girls and they just fall apart, you know? <laughs> This is a way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I've done no wrong. Under three things, the earth quakes. Under four, it cannot bear up. Okay, there's more of the three things, no four things. Okay. So we have the things that can't be satisfied, things that are too wonderful, and he didn't understand, and four things that makes the earth quake and not bear up. Under a slave when he becomes a king, and a fool when he is satisfied with food. <laughs> Under an unloved woman when she gets a husband, and a maidservant when she supplants her mistress. Yeah. Four things are small on the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. Oh, let's just highlight that whole thing. 
The ants are not strong people, but they prepare their food in the summer. The siphonum, what is a siphonum? Small, shy, furry animals. Okay. <laughs> Found in the peninsula of Sinai, northern Israel. Hmm. Okay. New American Standard calls them badgers, but the siphonum are not mighty people, yet they make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet all of them go out in ranks. Hmm. The lizard you may grasp with the hands, yet it is in a king's palaces. Okay. Interesting stuff. There are three things which are stately in their march. Hmm. This is a list of things about things. Hmm. Even four. See, always three, no four. Which are stately when they walk. <clears throat> The lion, which is mighty among beasts, and does not have to retreat before any. The strutting rooster, the male goat also, and the king when his army is with him. Right. Three things that do not, four things, <laughs> which are stately when they walk. If you have been foolish in, in exalting yourself, or if you have plotted evil, Put your hand on your mouth. <laughs> For the churning of nut produces butter, and pressing the nose it brings forth blood. So the churning of anger produces strife. So, there you go. That's Proverbs 30. Lists of things. Good things, bad things. And the words of Agar. <laughs> Who said he wasn't smart. I don't know. Now, this is good stuff. Um, surely I'm more stupid than any man. Neither have I learned wisdom. Or have knowledge of the Holy One. Okay. If you're comparing yourself to the Lord, we're all stupid. Okay. We're like... <clears throat> like, a, like a toddler that comes up to his father and tries to tell him how the world was made, you know. And we look and smile and think it's cute and know that they're not. They think they're smart, but, you know, but we love them. It's kind of the way the Lord is with us. You know, it's been said that the smartest thing man ever uttered is not equal to the dumbest thing God ever uttered. So that's not in the Bible. Somebody said that in a song somewhere. But, yeah, compared to the Lord, we are stupid. Okay. And we found out that he mentioned this only once. You know, who has ascended into heaven? Who has, who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has wrapped the waters in his garment? Who has established the ends of the earth? What is his name or his son's name? Hmm. I like that, his son's name. Surely you know. Okay. And we went into great deep deal about do not add words or he will reprove you and you will be proved a liar. Hmm. And Verses 8 and 9. Keep deception and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is my portion. That I may not be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord? Or that I may not be in want and steal and profane the name of my God. Good stuff. Always pray for just enough. Okay? Enough for you and enough to share. Okay. We highlighted... Three things that will never be satisfied. That was in verse 16. Hell, the barren womb, earth that is never satisfied with water, the desert, and fire that never says enough. Right? Fires just keep burning as long as there's fuel. And three things which are too wonderful for him and for he does not understand. The way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a serpent on a rock, the way of a ship in the middle of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. And three things were there under the, under three things the earth quakes and under four cannot bear up. Under a slave when he becomes king. And a fool when he's fat and a fool when he is satisfied with food. Under an unloved woman when she gets a husband. Under a maid and a maidservant when he 
when she supplants her mistress. Yeah. And we studied four things that are small on the earth, but are exceedingly wise. And I like this. Those four things are the ants. Okay. Cephanum or small furry creatures, you know, mice, rats. Locusts. You know, locusts are all together. They have no king. It's like anarchy at its best, right? And the lizard. You can catch a lizard, but they still live in the king's palaces. Okay? I have lizards here. And, you know, we like lizards. I eat insects. And every once in a while, we'll see one in the house. And I'll put it outside if I can catch it. I don't want it to die. But, yeah, they live wherever they want. And we have three things which are stately in their march. And four which are stately when they walk. The lion, which is mighty, the strutting rooster, <laughs> and the male goat, and a king when his army is with him. Right. So, that's Proverbs 30. We will do Proverbs 31 later on today, which is also was not written by Solomon. It was it's an old poem that somebody's mother gave him. Yeah. The words of Lemuel, which was a king. And these are words that his mother taught him. So, that's interesting. We'll do that later on today. This was interesting, the words of Agar and the lists that he has. So, have a good day. We'll see you later.